Hi right, guys, today what I'm going to do, I'm going to be reviewing the Blue Yeti um, in the sense that I'm going to be talking to you about how it sounds like without noise cancelling, what is raw audio. But before I do that, now I'm just going to show you the sound that comes from a normal microphone. So this sound you see here, this is the raw audio that comes out of this gaming headset called Exa Gaming Headset. You can apply a noise filter, but what you're going to notice is it's very noisy and if I just be quiet you're probably going to hear some noise right you're probably going to hear some noise however what if I switch the Blue Yeti hi guys so now I am recording the raw audio coming straight out of the Blue Yeti so yes this is the Blue Yeti indeed and you're going to notice that the voice is well my voice is clearly obviously much more clearer and um, okay that, that was quite silly to say but there still is some noise. The Blue Yeti is a premium microphone, but when you use the raw audio, like I am, there is some noise. I'm going to be silent for a few seconds. This is something that you probably, to understand it, you really need to use some headphones. You might not be able to get it that much from a TV. Anyways, so now I'm going to apply a noise filter, a simple, a simple noise filter on OBS to see if there is any difference. Maybe, I'm not sure if the noise filter will be noticed now, but I'll make a new video. So now I'm recording the Blue Yeti with a noise filter, and you should clearly notice that the um, sound is much more clearer, and that noise is just going to really cut. The OBS does a really good job of doing, of cutting the noise just with this simple filter. So yeah, it's much quieter. You can use other noise filters on other software, such as Audacity or DaVinci Resolve, and it might be that those noise filters give a better um, image sharpness. I mean, image sharpness, voice sharpness. But the reality is, I think, at least for, for my case, this noise filter is enough. And um, yeah, you just need to watch out. The Blue Yeti does have some noise. There are more expensive headphones like the Rode NT-USB, um, the HyperX Quad, B, uh, Quad, Quad, HyperX Quadcast, sorry. It might be that actually these headphones, they do produce a sharper noise in the Blue Yeti and a sharper voice, sorry. And they reduce the noise perhaps much better than the Blue Yeti, especially the Rode. But they're much more expensive, for example, I got this Blue Yeti used for about £85 on, on eBay, right? The Rode NT-USB is £150. It's nearly double what I paid for this Blue Yeti. And the truth is, uh, in reality, unless you're doing super duper professional voiceovers, when you have a simple filter like this, I don't think it's particularly noticeable. And many, many pro, pro YouTubers, you're going to find, they, they're more than happy with their Blue Yeti. So that's that. So this is the audio with the filter. Um, thanks guys for watching. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more videos.